Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have my friend Mikey P here. What's up? And his beautiful 2024 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate HD. Listen guys, GM did a great job with these trucks in terms of the lighting. However, Mikey, at the end of this video, this is the one thing I'm shocked by. I actually hate it about these trucks. We're gonna talk about it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure your bell notification is on. You ready? I'm ready. You wanna start with yours first? Yep. All right, let's do it. Mikey P said he wanted to start from the bottom and work our way up. So you wanna go ahead and turn on your fog lights? Turn my fog lights on. We learned something new today too. Mikey just showed me something that my truck has that yours don't, bro. Yeah, I can't run, I can't ride a truck with the fog lights on. In daytime or in nighttime. Yeah. Well, turn. well, no, like your set, your yeah, action work. light doesn't come on in accessory mode. Yeah, in accessory mode, it doesn't. Yeah. So yeah, he's gonna turn on the fog lights first. So, Mikey also said he wants you guys to vote. You guys like the fog lights on this side or the Chevy? So I'll show those to you in a second. So you do have a projector style. Yeah, projector file and it's and it's rounded off. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you guys the after here too. So fog lights. I like how small yours are, mm -hmm. right? Mine are a little bit bigger, which you guys will see here in a second. And then when you turn the fog lights on with out the headlights on, you do get the accent light. It also turns on- The running lights. Yeah, the running lights, clearance lights, and the tail lights as well. And I think it's like a nice accent that Jim gives you. So if you're driving at like what, 7 p.m. once it's starting to Yes. See the sun yes. go down? Yeah. That's when you use those. You use these, and yes. that way you don't have to have the headlights on. Headlights on. And your fog lights do have a nice wide yes, beam they too. Yes, they do. Way wider than my Chevy's here. Yes, so, it's pretty wide. Yeah. You want to mm -hmm. go and turn your headlights on too? There it is. So you have a dual beam on each side. Now, some people don't know this. One of these projectors are for low beam. Yes. And I believe the top one here high beam. is yeah, high beam mm -hmm. and it's used to reflect off of the signs too. Yes. So it throws light a little bit further up. So I do like the overall styling of it. And I can't wait to show you guys a road view as well. So let's go ahead and hit those high beams. Do it again. There, do it one more time. All right, so actually the high beam are, lower. are both of them. So lights come out of both <laughs> projectors. You want me to do it? Serious? Okay, let me show you to you here. Up next, Mikey P is gonna turn on the turn signal so you guys can see how that looks too. Now here's the Chevy. I'm gonna have Mikey P go ahead and turn on the fog lights. Now I was wrong by the way. I thought that the accent light came on when you put it in accessory mode, but actually on a Chevy it doesn't do it either. So here is the fog lights. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on the fog lights. Okay. So there it is. So I have a reflective style. And these are kind of like the GMC from 2023 and earlier fog lights, basically. And they're not that great compared to these over here in terms of the beam, and I'll show that to you guys in a second. But when you just turn on the fog light, Mike, if you go ahead and explain that, I'm gonna walk over with you. Most guys, if he's driving, if it's on auto, mm -hmm. some guys, when it's when it's um, getting dark, some guys is just like it, you know, just turning your lights on and not the headlights. You can just leave it in auto and just use your fog lights. Yeah. And that would turn your running lights and the fog lights on. Yeah, so what, yeah, and I didn't know that either too. So when you turn on the fog lights by themselves, yes, it literally turns, turns on. on they're all, all your lights. running lights, yes, except so, your headlights. Yeah, except the headlights, exactly. So I was like confused when I was driving, like I'm really confused. Right. Sometimes you want to drive with the fog lights on. Right. But no, it turns on the running lights as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, that's fine too, actually. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to do the headlights. All right, go ahead. Now, as far as the beam goes, these projectors are the exact same on this side. They're pretty much using the exact same thing. Yeah. So you're gonna have a low beam projector and they both are used as a high beam. And then, like I said, the top one here is gonna be used for like your sign. So to reflect off the signs down the road. <laughs> and then you wanna go ahead and do that turn signal. 
You wanna do headlight um high beam? Oh yeah, yeah, you go ahead and do high beam, go ahead. Yep, both beams are both high beams. Both beams come on? Mm-hmm. Same as your truck. And then that's the turn signal. They're yeah. crisp. Yeah, I like, I like yours. Oh, yeah, I love that switchback. It looks really good. Now, if you do the hazards, caution lights, as I call them, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the animation, so it's just, you know, on off like this. So there's just a small difference there if you didn't notice it. And this is the turn signal out back with no animations. All right, guys, so you have to vote which truck you like the best up front. So one thing that the Chevy has, right? You have this illuminated logo, which is pretty cool. But on the GMC side, you have this look here. So these are illuminated too. GM does have the side markers on the fender flares. Chevy does not do that. As far as the mirrors go, you do have these forward lights for low speeds or just standing still, both sides. Also, you have the reverse lights for your trailer. These also work good for just unloaded too. GM also has the reflectors on the rear conventional light for your trailer now here's one knock on the outside they're still using oh yeah the incandescent bulbs, bulbs for yeah. license plate which is not a big deal yeah. but kind of a big deal up top you guys can see there you have lights above and lights inside of the and bed nothing in the back nothing up yeah they never none of the manufacturers do the lights on the top which they should do it all and in the front. And if you put a tunnel cover on here, you want some light in there. Oh, yeah, I believe so, too. Especially with this eight for bed. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, if I would have known that, mm -hmm. I would have ordered the truck with the auxiliary switches mm -hmm. and oh, did it myself. Oh, true. See, that's what you use those auxiliary mm -hmm. switches for. That's a good idea, actually, too. Really good point. Also, there is no off and on switches like the other two brands have. Yes. Yes. GM doesn't have that. Yeah, that's something that's missing as well. That's missing. As I mentioned, reverse lights there. Above here, pretty much the exact same high mount center light as the GMC. Bed lights there. Same. Same thing. And light for your conventional trailer. Incandescent bulbs for lights and plate. And really quickly, here are the reverse lights on the Chevy. So here's the GMC side with the reverse lights. I think I like GMCs better. Now here's the night shot guys of the trucks. They look really, really good. Man. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the uh, signals, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. That looks good. Yeah, it looks good at night. Wow. They are super bright. I can't even look at it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> looks like the GM has a little bit more animation. You can see it right here. Yeah, the gym has like a little bit more animation there. Out back. So here's the other accent light too that the GMC and my truck have. So it literally lights up the running board. And you have a puddle light right here. Super nice, super bright outside. All right, one thing that GM doesn't give us it's LED lights for the floors. Yeah. We have them up here, we have them back here, but there's no lighting in the floors. So, you look in the glove department, there's no lights. Yeah. That is just insane. Wow. No lights, but they give me a light 
for my combination lockbox. But no lights. Yep. On the floors. Yeah, so basically, like he said, no lights in the glove box, which is wow. None in the upper storage compartment. Not even an accent light on the dash. Nothing for the floors. Now out back, typically it'll give you lighting back here too, but there's nothing. So on my Chevy, it's literally the exact same thing. The only light you have is one that shines down on the front dash here. You can't even see that light because it's just not that bright. So you, there's a little bit of light here, but for the most part, it's simply just too dark in this interior. Like I am very surprised. My Ram, your Ram, both had light Lights all right. around the interior. And yeah, you don't even know where I'm pointing. I'm pointing it all around the interior here and you just can't see because it's just too dark in here. So let's go ahead and turn the trucks around, point them towards the garage so they can see the high beam, the cutoff line for the projectors. We'll take your truck out, or we'll take my truck out for a quick drive so you guys can see, because these headlights are exactly the same guys. So yeah, you will see the output on my truck. So here is low beam. You can kind of see that cutoff line. It's pretty clean, but it's not a straight through line. I mean, these projectors are probably a detuned version of what, you know, an aftermarket company would do. But for the most part, a lot of color right here on the cutoff. There's no blues and purples, unfortunately. And they do go out pretty wide, too, as well. Now, you want to go and show them the high beams? High beams? Yeah, so there are your high beams right there. That's pretty bright, yeah. And then flashing. Oh yeah, that's pretty bright. And I hear your fog lights. The fog lights literally go all the way over. They're really bright. And look how far out they go. Back up real quick. Yeah, watch. Yeah, a lot of color on the ground here. A lot of light too. Yeah, they are really bright. They're going all the way out to there. So they're really, really wide. And it's because of that projector style too. And then here's the Chevy fog lights so you guys can get an idea. These aren't as wide and they're a reflective style so they don't have that focused light that you saw on the GMC. So I do like the GMC lighting so much better for the fog lights. I'm gonna have Mikey Pete back up too, so you guys can kind of get a better idea of the output of the fog lights. They do have a nice color to them though, but the light's not as focused. And I feel as though the ones on the GMC are just so much better. And pretty much these projectors, yeah, they're the same thing, right? Same thing. I mean, it looks like the it kind of looks like the cutoff line's a little different there. Same color, and some of the light does kind of go up a little bit more. And that's probably for the reflection for the signs. High beam. Oh yeah, these are different. Yeah, they're different actually. See, these are a little bit more focused actually. Interesting. Wow. Interesting. Mikey Pete's um, windshield, yeah. Is Pretty much tinted, so I want to show you guys from the outside here. Fog lights are on.
Chevy. Pretty good. Wow. It's definitely a lot of light on the ground. Yeah, my windshield's not tinted, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of light coming out of these projectors. Well, that will pretty much end the video. Hope you guys liked it. This was a great comparison. It seems like the projectors are slightly different on the Chevy and GMCs, which is kind of surprising because the appearance is the same, but you can definitely tell even with the cutoff that there's slight differences between the two trucks. But I do like the uh, fog lights on the GMC a lot better. They're a lot wider and a lot cleaner compared to the Chevys, but be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notifications are on. See you guys soon. Peace.